We are very divided right now, uh, more than, cer certainly more than we were when I first ran for office in 2007 and, and won the presidency in 2008. Some of that is attributable to uh, our current president, who actively uh, fanned division because he felt it was good for his politics. Um, but it preceded him, uh, and it will outlast him. You know, I think the, the debate that's been taking place here about you know, the kinds of uh, crazy conspiracy theories and what some have called truth decay, right, where facts don't matter, uh, you know, everything uh, is fair game, everything goes. That has contributed enormously uh, to these divisions. And it's, it's going to take more than one election to uh, reverse those trends. If you are somebody who exclusively watches you know, uh, right-wing media, um, I am unrecognizable <laughs> as, a, as a figure because what I, what's portrayed of me is just a caricature. It, 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 it doesn't compute with what I believe, what I say, et cetera. But you know, there are millions of people who subscribe to the notion that um, Joe Biden is a socialist, uh, you know, who subscribed to the notion that uh, Hillary Clinton was part of a uh, evil cabal that uh, was involved in pedophile rings. I, you know, that kinds of stuff is constantly circulating. What's been interesting, obviously, and, and <clears throat> sad during this election is that um, that kind of uh, lack of fidelity to the truth has consequences when it's being promoted by uh, the most powerful uh, elected official in the country. Um, and the pandemic is a classic example of uh, reality biting back.